Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Android's World here today doing a very anticipated ROM review and tutorial of the new MyTouch slide port for the G1 and MyTouch. Now this is a pre-alpha, very, very buggy, very slow, nowhere near ready for everyday usage, but it is cool to play with and just look how incredibly gorgeous this entire ROM is. It's really, really pretty in terms of everything. I'm probably going to be cutting out a lot of the loading time speeds because it is very slow. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM. So first off, guys, the market does not work. Wi-Fi does not work. Bluetooth does not work. There's no boot screen. The internet browser does not work. There's really hardly anything works. Let's just go ahead and take a look at what does work. So first off, we got the pull-down notification bar right there, which has that nice jet black honeycomb look on top. And you'll see that a lot throughout this um, ROM. And you got those bubbles around the applications, which you'll also see a lot on this ROM. Um, if I launch open the application drawer, you'll see every single app comes in a bubble even any app that you download so that's pretty nice speaking of the application drawer this is the bottom bar down here that's the phone application when you click on that it'll launch open the phone it has smart dial and when you actually start to dial you can flick through the contacts left and right it looks really nice but I'm not going to show you guys any of my phone numbers and this is your um, actual contact cards right there so this ROM actually has five home screens although it is HTC Sense um, it only has five so you can see you can actually flick through those. It has the indicator up on top. And when you actually let go and let the phone sit, the indicator will slowly go away, which is a cool feature. I think it just saves a lot of space. Um, that bar down there is actually transparent right now. And that's because um, there's actually some themes you can set up right from the beginning, um, which is really cool. There's actually a few modes that you can set up right from the jump. You can see on the home screen, the experience is pretty smooth and pretty fast, though. Let's go and launch open messaging real fast. So you guys, app launch speed was not too bad. And there's that honeycomb look I said you'd be getting a lot. And the on-screen keyboard is really, really cool. Um, really nice on-screen keyboard. I just like looking at it at this angle on camera. It looks really nice. It has kind of like a gradient there. But it's basically the HTC IME um, with a little bit smaller bubbles and it's black. When you tap on it, you get this really nice blue highlight on each actual key, which I just, I just think it looks really, really nice. So really nice on-screen keyboard right there. Again, the market does not work. No reason to even launch that. Just showing you guys. It'll it'll just loop in a circle. And internet does not work either. For some reason, I'm not really sure why it doesn't work. It sometimes it pops up and then instantly closes. Sometimes I just get this black screen and it stays there. Um, so that does not work. But if I tap menu and go into settings and um, about phone and then software information, this is indeed. Android 2.1 update 1. I have the latest um, radio and I'm using the Danger SPL right now. I actually switched to it. Don't really know why. I just decided to flash another SPL. Anyway, so that means we have the latest HTC Friend Stream application, which ties in our Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr all to one little widget right there, which is really nice. You can see everything looks a little bit smaller for this optimized 3.2 inch display. Also, since this is the latest HTC Sense, we can hit Add to Home and take a look at some of the new widgets that come included. So you guys have seen all the regular widgets from HTC Sense and Android. I'll just go over some of the new things that we have here. Um, with my touch, the, with, uh, with the My Touch Slide ROM, we get the My Faves instead of the People widget. So I tap on that to show you guys what this is. It takes us in, and you can actually choose between four different styles, which is really interesting. Um, Kind of nice though. I kind of like how it looks. This is exclusive for T-Mobile. You got that new bottom bar down there. Again, I just showed you guys French stream, but it also comes in two different modes. Um, you saw the full screen mode before, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the half screen mode right there, where you can just post the status. Scrolling down a little bit more, you got the news, which is also new. And there are two different versions of that, a small and a large one, where you can actually flick through it. Profile switcher, which I already showed you guys on my home screen. Um, you have some settings too that um, which are instant toggles for the home screen. Pretty nice. Um, sync all Twitter. Um, new stocks right there. Just launch that open real fast, and you can flick through the different three versions of stocks. Kind of nice there. And of course the YouTube widget. 
So those are the new widgets. There are not too many. Of course, there's the default Android Facebook widget, which does come included. And of course, you can long press anything, and it'll move it around. You get the blue highlight mask, and that turns into a trash can. And you can just delete it off the home screen. Let's go ahead and show you guys what HTC Sense is. First, we'll launch open the calculator, and there it is. Very, very fast launch right there. And you can see the four most recent applications up there. You can also long press the home key, and that'll bring up your application switcher of six apps. Let's go and open up Clock. This is a really, really cool application. Launch it open, and here we are. Down here, instead of like the regular Touchful 3D style, we get this new version. Um, you just grab it, and you can just flick through it. So it's it's not those new colorful huge icons like on the Desire or Legend. It still is the matted black ones. But down here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like totally new. Really, really cool. I really, really like that look to it as well. And it's the same for the desk, desk clock. That was the same application we were just in. Um, the albums application is pretty cool. Um, the gallery. I believe this is the new HTC Sense gallery though. Yeah, and you can actually look at your photos, you can look at the live gallery, Facebook, or Flickr, which is pretty cool. And you guys have seen the regular way to look at pictures as well from HTC Sense. I mean, it actually comes with my account and some other T-Mobile applications and my modes, which is a cool thing that will let you theme the entire look of the actual Espresso Sense UI. So you can hit change your mode or change your theme. So I'll hit change your theme. And as you can see, you get a few themes you can actually scroll through, which is actually really cool. So you see it'll change the bottom bar, it'll change some of the widgets, and it'll change the lock screen as well. So I'll just go ahead and change it to hoops real fast. Hit select, and I will let that finish. Alright guys, so basically you'll see that it changes the lock screen to this really nice lock screen, and um, changes the wallpaper and this look down here. So that's basically what modes are. Keeps it nice, fast, really, really nice right there. That's a cool feature that it has. Um, also, guys, you need a really big swap partition. I have 160, and um, you can see I just got a close right there. Instead of the HTC loading screen, you whoa, almost dropped my phone there. You get the My screen, so that's interesting. Anyways, let's just go ahead and show you guys how to flash this on your phone because it's it's not really anything for daily usage. It's just something to play around with and see and get a sneak peek to what the my touch slide actual phone is going to bring so um, i don't think you can mount your usb to the phone with this so let's go ahead and go into recovery i'm going to actually take out my battery because i don't want to wait for anything i don't care let's go ahead and take out the battery and we'll boot into recovery by holding down home and power and we'll put the battery cover back on and um, we're going to plug in the USB cable right now and we're going to scroll down the USB MS toggle and mount our phone. Alright guys, now that we're at our computer we're going to go and open up wherever we downloaded the MyTouch Slide Alpha and just drag that to the root of our SD card and that is a very large file, it's 115.1 megabytes so you do need the ENG or Death SPL. Alright guys, and now that we're pretty much done copying that over to our SD card, all we're going to do is safely eject our phone and go back to it. Alright guys, now we're going to uneject our phone right from the actual phone itself and reboot into recovery. Hopefully you guys have the latest Amon Ra 1.6.2 recovery image on your T-Mobile G1 or my touch and if you're on a G1 I do have a tutorial on my channel right now and once we're actually in a recovery image we're just gonna do a simple wipe and flash process um, it is supposed to come with a Wi-Fi fix or um, and market fix but it did indeed did not work for me so and I confirmed it to not work so we're just gonna do a wipe go back and do a flash zip from SD card and also guys I have a tutorial on how to partition your SD card as well so you're just gonna let that flash it's gonna take a pretty long time alright guys and when it's done hit reboot system now and let your phone boot all the way up alrighty guys and when your phone boots up you will be running the my touch slide pre alpha ROM thanks for watching guys make sure you rate this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe follow me on twitter twitter.com slash android world and I'll see you guys later